Good morning, pupils. My name is Romana Condorcego, and again, I am your science teacher. But before we proceed to our class discussion, kindly pick up pieces of paper under your chair. Done? Thank you so much. Please all stand for our prayer. Amen. Please take your seat. But before we proceed to our class discussion, who among you here are absent for the day? Oh, you got a complete attendance. Very good. Please give yourselves a round of applause. As we discussed last week, who among you here can recall our topic, our past lesson? Okay, Sheila. Thank you. So, Sheila is correct. Our past lesson is all about climate change. You can still remember what is climate change? Yes, ma'am. Very good. So, what, when we say climate change, it refers to a long-term shift in temperatures and weather patterns. So, do you know now what climate change is? Very good. So, in today's discussion, we're going to discuss pollution. So, any one of the class, who knows or do you have any idea about pollution? Yes, Andrea. What? Pollution is the uh, end of the world? Okay, thank you for your answer. Another one. Okay, Mike, again. What is pollution? Burning plastics, throwing garbage anywhere, scattering garbages. Okay, thank you so much for your answers. So, your answers are all correct. So, when we say pollution, it is the harmful materials into the environment. And these harmful materials are called pollutants. Something introduced into the environment that is dirty, unclean, or has a harmful effect. Pollution also is the introduction of contaminants into a natural environment that cause adverse change. So, pollution is a man's made. Um, burning plastics, that Sheila answer is correct. When you're burning plastic, it can cause pollution. It can cause air pollution. Um, scattering garbages and cutting of trees. So, there are three types of pollution. First is the air pollution, second, the water pollution, and the last one is the land pollution. Number one is air pollution. When we say air pollution, it is a contamination of the indoor or outdoor environment by any chemical, physical, or bio biological agent that modifies the natural characteristics of the atmosphere. So, air pollution. Air pollution is very rampant in today's generation. Why? It is because um, we, the people of we live here, burn some, a lot of plastics um, using uh, sprays, perfumes, and the uh, vehicles for transportation. It causes uh, air pollution. Second is the water pollution. Water pollution is the contamination of water sources by substances which make the water unusable for drinking, cooking, cleaning, swimming, and other activities. Water pollution is also one of our greatest problem here that we face. Water pollution caused by 
dumping garbages in the sea or in the water and it can cause um, heart disease, uh, diarrhea, and etc. The last one is land pollution. When we say land pollution, it refers to the destruction or a decline in the quality of the Earth's surface of, as a result of human actions. So, for example, the land pollution, when we cut trees, it can cause flash floods. Um, like the father of Mark, for example, he is a charcoal maker. So, so he go to the mountain and cut a lot of trees there and it cost and it can cost rather a landslide when we when the typhoon strike us and another example of land pollution is also um, scattering garbage anywhere as we can see um the flash flood is very rare in our society or our environment nowadays because of scattering garbages, about trees, and the vehicles that we use for transportation. And all of that example is can cause pollution. So I have here a motto that you can read and you can analyze if this motto is what's all about. So, who can read the motto here? Yes, Michelle. Thank you so much. So, who can read the motto I posted here? Yes, Michael? Thank you so much. So, destruction is a man's will. Nevertheless, Prevention is also a man's will. It is a man's choice to choose between destruction and prevention. Who can share your ideas about this saying or this motto? Anyone? Yes, Sheila. Thank you so much for your answer and your answers are all correct. So, destruction is really a man's will. It is our choice to prevent or to save the world or to continue to harm or to destroy this world or the world. Pupils, I will give you a group activity. Um, and, and the group will contain a five members each group so can you find your partner now anyways your group activity is all about the cost and effect of pollution are you done okay so you can start your activity now Thank you, pupils, for your activity. You made it very well. Good job, pupils. So, the cost of pollution is number one, wildfires. Second, throwing garbage anywhere. Third, burning plastics. 
Fourth, burning of fossil fuels. Fourth, construction and demolition. And the last one is cutting of trees. And its effect is that water pollution, flash floods, lung cancer, heart disease, air pollution, respiratory disease. Your answers are all correct. Please give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. So, do you have any question about our topic or our discussion? If not, get one sheet of paper and I will give you a short quiz. So, you already have your paper? Okay, so let's start with our quiz. Number one, what is pollution? Done? Number two, enumerate the major causes of pollution. Are you done? How do you think, number three, how do you think can pollution be avoided or controlled? Number four, can you minimize the spreading and continuous of pollution? Yes or no, then why? Number five, what are you going to do? To stop the pollution. So, are you done, pupils? Can you pass your paper in front? Thank you. So, do you have any questions about our topic that we discussed today? If none, um, I'm, I am going to ask you, okay, Michelle, please stand up. Okay, so again, what is pollution? Okay, it's the harmful effect that you can, thank you so much. Um, what are the three types of pollution? Anna? Okay. Thank you so much. Your answer is correct. The three types of pollution is the air pollution, the water pollution, and the land pollution. Very good. And do you have a question? None? So, before we end our discussion for today, I am going to give you a homework. So, at home, list at least 10 causes of pollution and give the solution to avoid or to stop. Did you get it, pupils? Yes. Okay, so... That's our topic for today. Before we end our discussion or our class, think, um, do you have any ideas or queries? And none. So, I hope, pupils, you learned something new about the topic we've discussed today. So, thank you so much for listening and goodbye.